So an interesting point I want to make about the font that you see, the first font is actually a black letter font. It's one of the earliest fonts back in the 15th century when Gutenberg first invented the printing machine, he used this font. And the second font that you see is a more recent one made by a big tech company just a few years ago. So it's kind of a blending of the old and the new and the potential and how we can move forward in the future. My first point was that a computer is a very powerful machine and we can be, and it can be whatever we can imagine. And when we teach CS, we have to emphasize this point over and over again to our students to not limit our view of what a computer is, but rather what it can be. My second point is that the world around us is going through a digital transformation. 20 years ago, Nicholas Negroponte wrote a book called Being Digital, where he talked about the conversion of this world from a world of atoms to a world of bits. What you see here are many familiar artifacts that we all have grown up with. They have disappeared or are all disappearing. You see here projectors, wallets with cash, desktop calendar, newspapers, textbooks, telephones, CD players, floppy disks, the list is endless. All these physical things are disappearing, consumed by computing. Mark Anderson has famously said software is eating the world and it will continue to do so irrevocably and exponentially. And the result of software eating the world, folks, many huge companies that we grew up with have disappeared or are disappearing. Everyone here must have, at some point in their life, rented a video from Blockbuster or purchased a book from Borders. They are gone. And with that, at the same time, completely new technology companies have emerged in leadership positions in traditional industries. Amazon, a technology company, is now the leading global retailer and the fastest company in the world to get to $100 billion in sales. Tesla, another tech company, is now the leading car company. Airbnb is the largest hotel company in the world and has three times more the number of rooms than the second largest hotel company in the world, and all this without owning even a single room. And Apple, which was originally a computer company, sells phones and is also a watch company and may very soon become a car company as well. And there are many other digital companies that are transforming this world. So as computers become faster, cheaper, and smaller, we will continue to see the emergence of new devices and new applications driven by computing. Applications that will disrupt our existing processes, how we do things in every industry, in every walk of life. 